Good evening, it's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review for uh, uh, the European markets on the uh, 31st of January 2017. Please be sure, please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, now in terms of uh, market uh, reaction today, certainly one of um, a, a negative session. Certainly negative throughout the day uh, in terms of European markets and the US markets certainly remain weak as well. The two main themes really from US markets perspective, you have Trump concerns, the uncertainty and uh, the volatility via Trump. Okay, in terms of uh, the, um, the actual administration, certainly going after particular judges, uh, certainly uh, trying to coax and threaten uh, CEOs etc so it certainly seems that the Trump effect certainly has come to an end to a large extent and it'll be interesting to see if the actual rally can continue although there was a press conference today that I did expect a potential uh, short squeeze given his uh, talk of deregulation and even that didn't have the effect or desired effect to trigger a short squeeze so again certainly cause for concern also with regards to the FTSE it's broken the key 7120 It's broken the key 7120 uh, support level, therefore remains bearish. So, interesting scenario ahead. Okay, interesting scenario ahead, which I'll cover on this video. Okay, so in terms of the theme, is one number Trump is uh, con uncertainty regarding Mr. Trump and political uncertainty in the US. And number two was the uh, main theme in Europe with uh, stronger inflation data. Hence, the reason why we actually seen a spike in the euro. We witnessed a spike in the euro up to 1.0805, uh, euro certainly moving higher. If you bring up the daily chart, I did actually highlight this as well. Uh, the inverted head and shoulders formation still has uh, more to go. You have 1.1020 is the actual ideal target. With stronger inflation data today out of France, out of the UK, uh, and out of the Eurozone as well. Uh, sorry, not out of the UK, out of the Eurozone, France, and Spain. That's correct. Okay, so certainly uh, acceleration in inflation, and therefore obviously indicating uh, the bearish price action on European equities to a large extent. Although one would argue now that it's certainly factored in with the German DAX certainly closing that 11600 level. Now if I bring up the chart of German DAX on the daily, you can see that I was calling for that potential gap to close and we've actually exceeded that now. So you have stronger inflation and you have Trump concerns as well. Daily chart of the DAX at the moment, you have support around the 11520. If we continue to flush on on those concerns and you, you could certainly reach 11400 very quickly so it'd be an interesting scenario if that were to occur okay uh, again all eyes on the uh, the Nasdaq as well okay now let's start with the uh, the actual FTSE itself FTSE 100 from my perspective certainly uh, indicating weakness now given the fact that we've broken that 11 or 7120 breakout zone certainly doesn't bode well okay let's have a look at the monthly chart because the monthly chart is quite important given the fact that we are on the last day of the month uh, you can certainly see a potential topping tail. So that topping tail in the FTSE is not a positive sign, okay? Yeah, although having said that, we have seen it before, but this tail is certainly longer. Uh, this tail has actually reached the 7350 zone. So the topping tail on the FTSE is certainly a warning sign. Uh, one would then indicate that this actual breakout was a fake out, okay? One could certainly start to deduce that this f breakout here was a fake out. It was more of a uh, sterling led rally as opposed to strong fundamentals. Again, that's your interpretation. But that candle certainly is in and does not bode well, okay, going forward from a technical perspective at least. Weekly chart broken 7120 again does not bode well on the FTSE 100. Uh, just to confirm, I am actually short now. I was stopped out on my FTSE long. I expected gap fill to hold at 7116 and 7120 previous resistance equals support. And that hasn't been the case, okay, folks? We've actually broken through uh, gap fill and we've actually broken through the uh, key previous resistance equals support. Now, it's all about the retracement from the pivot low to the pivot high. So, again, if you want to take that retracement, although one would argue uh, the retracement really, the one that we should really be looking at is the one from here to here. Okay, so we are into that uh, FIB 38% uh, retracement now. Okay, so again, certainly watch out for that. If this 7096, which I don't expect to hold, really will crack below. If that fails to hold, then you are looking at the next support level being the 7060 and 7004. So, from my perspective, 7000 and 7060 certainly are in, in, in play. Okay, in terms of the uh, the actual FTSE 100 daily chart itself. Okay, 
now the uh, gap fill has failed to hold daily chart at the moment you can see that we made a new low the next potential support now on the foot sees at 7070 then you have support at 70 sorry 7090 7070 then you have 7060 and we'll see how the market reacts from there okay so lower lows and lower highs in play on the 60 minute chart and certainly doesn't bode well going forward 10 minute chart of the FTSE 100 we actually finished at 7100 uh, okay so again 7100 stop losses around that region certainly looking to potentially get triggered okay so again watch out for that FTSE 100 certainly remains a week from my perspective now the German DAX daily chart like I said you certainly have scope to move down to 10 11500 and 11400 so again be mindful of that okay and the volume certainly is increasing on the sell side especially with stronger inflation and a stronger euro the key uh, gap fill support certainly failed to hold the market just literally ripped through that tore through that okay the only next support now I can see is that pivot s3 which is 11500 and that certainly seems to be the next case if that breath fails then obviously you've got 11420 certainly coming into play on the uh, 10 minute chart German DAX it's just flush 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 okay so again it's weakness 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 again like I said gap fill failed to hold horizontal support here failed to hold we have support here and here which is 11540 and then you have support around the 11515 level so that's the zone that we are potentially going to look at okay okay now in terms of the French CAC let's bring up the French CAC here okay daily chart the French CAC I did highlight the fact that we had a H&S formation on the French CAC so again that weaker or stronger inflation data certainly is hurting the uh, the French CAC's ability. Uh, you do have a target of 4710. So watch out for 4710. Uh, you do have an unfilled gap below as well at 4630. Again, that certainly will come into play. 60 minute chart, the French CAC, lower lows, lower highs. Again, bears in full control here. So just be mindful of that. Okay. Uh, from my perspective, bears certainly remain reign supreme. We failed to hold gap fill at 4770 as well. Uh, the next potential support you have here, uh, where we're currently at 4750. Uh, then you have a gap below, which is certainly coming into play at 4735. So watch out for 4735. And then the ultimate gap fill below at 4630. So watch out for those zones, okay? Certainly watch out for those zones, okay? Uh, you do have an unfilled gap above as well. So obviously, uh, if the market starts to reverse, watch out for that zone above. But from my perspective at the moment, bias certainly remains bearish if the euro continues to fly higher. Okay, uh, last but not least, the euro stocks. Let's bring up the euro stocks now. Euro stocks certainly flushing in the 60 minute chart. I did expect the support to hold at the 45, but that certainly hasn't been the case. And we've certainly flushed lower. The next potential support is at 3200. Although you have left an unfilled gap above, and Trump concerns certainly seem to be dominating. Okay. Again, all eyes on the euro daily chart. If the daily certainly holds that resistance level, starts to reverse lower, then you, the European indices certainly have a chance. Uh, certainly have a chance to potentially. Uh, certainly have a chance to potentially uh, start to uh, rise and start to reverse. Uh, okay. Certainly are seeing some signs of um, of weakness above the 1.08. It'd be interesting to see if investors continue to uh, to purchase uh, the uh, the euro. It's been one hell of a ride from 1.06 to 1.08. Very, very impressive thrust higher. So also with regards to comments from Mr. Trump talking about the euro being exceptionally weak and uh, the certainly triggering some uh, about of uh, dollar weakness. OK, uh, interesting scenario there. OK, so that certainly seems to be the uh, the play at present in terms of the uh, markets. European markets certainly under pressure with the euro. If the euro can stay below 1.08 and find more further weakness. You are looking at a chance of the European equities reversing. If that's if the euro breaks above 1.08 and continues, then you are looking for risk aversion to continue also. Uh, and keep an eye on the Nasdaq as well. Uh, Nasdaq will be important. If you fail to hold this uh, support level around the 5085, then you are looking for a flush down to 5040. Okay, you do have multiple gaps above as well. It'll be interesting to see how they come into play. On that note, please be sure to visit CFDs.com for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of the bonus. Goodbye now.